shift your mindset off of instant gratification, instant results, and outcomes. Focus on the attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs, and I guarantee the outcome will come. Hey, if you're anyone who's looking to achieve any level of success, there's a certain way that self-made millionaires, we're not talking about people who come from money, but we're talking about self-made millionaires, people who've started with absolutely nothing and have built a high level of success the way that we think. I'm someone who literally went from food stamps at age 17 to building a self-made millionaire status in a $17 million real estate portfolio and a multi-million dollar company that serves thousands of customers. All that to say, not to impress you, but to impress upon you, there's a way that I've learned from mentors that every successful person thinks I want to relate that to you and share that with you in this episode. And really the best way I can illustrate this is with a story. And again, I'm going to tell you a story of one of my coaching clients. So I had a client, I'm not going to say her name. She started off, she was one of my early on business mentorship clients. So I started like business mentoring back in like 2018, maybe. So I started growing my business 2016. Started taking on mentorship clients like 2018, 2019, say awesome client. She was in the health and fitness field. Started off, didn't have much money. She put the mentorship on her credit card, right? Just like I did. And I've never, never tell people to do that. But like when you lack resources, you have to get resourceful. You know, a big thing too, I just want to like start with, if you don't have money, if you say, I'm going to wait till I get all the money in the world to start investing in coaching, that never works. You don't invest in coaching and mentorship when you're already like a millionaire, billionaire, super successful. When you're broke, you find a way you get resourceful when you lack resources, you invest in coaching. That's how you start to develop the level of success. So don't limit yourself with that. Right? So anyway, she put on a credit card, she invested in coaching and we started growing her business immediately. She was able to pay off the credit. She had tons of other credit card debt. We were able to pay it all off. She started building her business. She quit her job. She was so fulfilled and she was so successful. One day, she sends me a photo, but I, I've always taught to my clients to be like very delayed gratification focus. Like keep pouring your money back in your business. Give yourself a little reward here and there, but don't do anything stupid. You know, one day she sends me a text message and it's a photo of her and uh, Mercedes Benz. She's like, look what I got. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, like got for the day, like rented it for the day. Like, no, I bought it. I bought it. I'm like, oh my God. Like, why, why did you do that? Right. And you never want to like, you never want to put down a, a coaching client, but you always want to try to point them in the right direction. Like, good coaches tell us what we need to hear. Not always what we want to hear. I said, Hey, that's a big liability. That's a big risk. Like we just kind of got you out of the, the danger zone with the credit and then the debt and all that. All right. Like really, really double down your business now. Well, she finished up coaching with me and then, you know, she went on her own and I just saw recently she hit hard times in her business, right? Because a coaching business can be variable income. I had to sell the car, I had to move out of the luxury home that she was in, I had to downsize, I had to fire off her team and really kind of revert back to step one. There is a way that self-made millionaires think. And the first way that self-made millionaires think is they are not looking for instant gratification in anything they do. So like in that example of that coaching, I, what I wanted her to do and what I was trying to teach her to do and what I want you to do is put more money back into you, your personal development, your business and your assets and the crap you buy. So instead of buying the Mercedes or the BMW, you want to put your money back in your business, grow your business, scale a team, get a team of people under you so you can do more with less of your time. Take the profits, go buy a fourplex, a fourplex that will generate two grand a month in cash flow. Take that two grand in cash flow, go buy the Mercedes Benz. That's the way the wealthy do it. The broke in the middle class say, I want instant gratification. I've been going to the gym for three days. Where's the muscles? I've been posting for a week, Tony. Where's the million dollar clients? I've been waking up early for five days. I don't feel any better. They need the instant gratification. Part of it too, you have to start to love the process. When you love the process and you love the work, the outcome is irrelevant. You feel so good internally. It is irrelevant what happens. I remember when I did my first men's physique show in the NPC and my first year, I was so worried about everyone else. So nervous. Oh, who's going to be there? Oh, look at this guy. Look at that guy. Compare, compare, compare. I'm worried about the outcome. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. I took 14th. I was so angry. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do the show again next year, but I'm going to focus on actions, attitudes, and behaviors, not the outcome. I remember I wrote it. It's in my journal over here. If I wrote it three days before, I'm like, I've already won. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what happens. I've already won because I focused on everything that matters. Me. I don't care about anyone else. I don't care who shows up. Fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger could show up. I'm going to lose. I don't care. I've already won. I won the show. Shift your mind set off of instant gratification, instant results, and outcomes focus on the attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs. And I guarantee the outcome will come, but you have to make that shift. So that's number one. Number two, if you want to create wealth, you need to learn to give yourself a millionaire experience.
experience, not a millionaire lifestyle. What do I mean by that? You're you're starting to make money in your business. Listen, I'm not like Dave Ramsey, who's like, don't you dare spend the money. Like, like, go, go treat yourself. Give yourself something nice. But I would rather you and your partner, if you're celebrating something in your business, go say two nights in like the nicest hotel. Like I love the Pelican Hills in Newport Beach. It sounds ghetto, but Pelican Hill is like a super nice resort. Go stay there for two nights, man. Do, do a high-end dinner at Mastro's. Do something like that. Like that's a millionaire experience. Don't go to freaking Mastro's for lunch every single day of the week and drop $200 for lunch and eat lobster mac and cheese every day. One, you're gonna feel like crap. And two, it's gonna be like 250. Like don't do that. Give yourself a millionaire experience, not a millionaire lifestyle. Next thing, don't wait for permission to start. Self-made millionaires, successful people, they just start. No one told Mark Zuckerberg to have permission to, oh, you know what, Mark, go ahead. Yeah, actually, now's a great time to create social media. He broke into stuff. He broke into like the other like programs at Stanford and took all the photos and he, he just did it. No one gave Elon Musk permission to go do Tesla and SpaceX and all that. You have to learn that you're just going to start and you're just going to start to take imperfect action. You're just going to start to move forward, right? Stop waiting around for permission. Stop waiting around for the right time. Stop waiting around for the stars and the moons to line. And I don't know, should, should I like do it? To, just fucking do it. Just take the action. Because guess what? It's going to be bad. The first content piece you post, it's going to suck. First video you record, it sucks. Go on my YouTube. Go all the way back to the beginning. I've left it. Filmed it on an iPad. It was sitting on a George Foreman grill. It's horrible. I'm doing a meal prep video. I'm pulling out like cartons of like Greek yogurt, like nasty uh, ground beef. I'm, and it's in like Ziploc bags. So I was too ghetto to put it in freaking Tupperware. I'm like, look, it's like meal prep. But you got to start. Stop waiting for permission. No one's going to come around, wipe you on the butt and say, you know what? Today's the good day. Go ahead. You just got to start. Invest before you're wealthy. It's a big thing I want you to think about. You need to be an investor before you're wealthy. You do not wait till you have money to invest. What do I mean? I've noticed there's a distinction between people. Broke people say spend wealthy people say invest. If I'm hiring a personal trainer, it's an investment in myself. If I'm hiring a business coach, it's an investment. The brokest people I've ever been around say, I can't spend money on that. I, I don't have the money to spend on that. I can't, oh, that's too much money to spend. Spending is associated with a loss. Investing is associated with a gain. So let's take the money out of it. How can you invest? You can invest your time. When you don't have money, you know what you have, you have time. As you start to build success, you run out of time, but then you have money. So then all we do is buy back our time. But in the beginning, you don't have money. So you can invest your time on social media by listening to my podcast, Tony Robbins podcast or videos, right? Bedros Koulian, Ed Milet, whoever you like, whoever you like, I don't know. You can invest your time to learn more for free with YouTube and podcasts. So again, are you spending your time on social media or are you investing your time on social media? Again, it's not all about money because people say, you just say you got to spend money to make money. Okay, free. Your time is free. How are you investing it? Then your business. What are you doing as you're making money? Your job is you make a dollar in business, invest it back to make two back. That's the way the wealthy operate. That's the way the successful entrepreneur operates. I just made a dollar. I want to reinvest the dollar to bring two back. The broke person says, I made a dollar. I need to save a dollar. I need, I need to hold a dollar. Write this down. Wealth is never a result of thrift and scarcity. You can't save your way to wealth. You can't, as a dollar comes in, you can't like scarcity, like hold on to it. Like, ah, oh, it's my dollar. I can't. You got to put it back out there. Put it out there to bring two back. And that's why I love as you maximize your business, as you invest in better content, better connections, mastermind events, coaches who can level you up. Then once you maximize that, then the ultimate trade a dollar for two is real estate investing. Start to take your hard earned profits, put in a piece of real estate because you cash flow, tax benefits, long-term wealth creation. I bought an apartment for 660000 and we fixed it up next year. It was worth a million bucks. That's the ultimate exchange. But start with the free. Start with your time. How are you investing in your time? Next thing I want you to think about is rewriting your story. This is something that I really struggled with, right? Where you come from is not what your future is. So many self-made, highly successful people, millionaires, billionaires, whatever, they come from absolutely nothing. Your adversity can be your biggest advantage. Hunger, I always love to say, hunger is the best sauce. I'm Italian, I like sauce. Hunger is the best sauce, right? When you come from nothing, you have the hunger, you have the desire, you have the internal, intrinsic, like this insatiable need to go out and dominate and conquer and accomplish. Like it's, it's coming up to Christmas next year in our house. He's like, oh, super festive. I buy all the 
fucking Christmas trees, man. You know why though? Because growing up, dude, I always remember, and, and God bless my dad, he didn't mean bad by it, but he's just, it's just how he handled it. He'd always say it's gonna be a poor Christmas. We ate fucking Burger King on Christmas. We ate, like, you know that movie where they eat the Chinese food? Cause that's all, that was us. I remember sitting there and, and just anger and like just sadness and just like, there's just nothing to be really happy about. So that's why I've created life to where now every year, my family and little puppies and my wife, like Christmas is something we celebrate. Rewrite your story. Where you started at is not where you have to end up, but you have to elevate where you're at. You have to be around different people. You have to, in law of environmental exposure, law of environmental exposure says once exposed, you cannot be unexposed, right? But if I would have stayed in that freaking environment to where it's a poor Christmas, it's bad, we don't have money, this sucks. I would have just reproduced that in my own life. I would have been living that out for my kids, for my wife, for our life, but I wanted better. So I started with free shit on the internet. I found examples on the internet and I found mentors. I found events. I found other people achieving things and you get around those people, but you have to rewrite your story every day. Take out a journal, like the one here that I wrote today's lesson today's scripts on and write out, write out your new story. It's powerful. The pen dictates your reality. Your spoken word dictates your reality. So write out. I used to every day when I was dirt broke, I am a self-made millionaire. I am a self-made millionaire. I will be a self-made millionaire before 30. And then I did because I followed it up with massive action. I didn't just sit and manifest, right? I followed it up, but rewrite your own story. I, I'm telling you, go get a journal, write out all the crap that's happened to you, but now write the new version of your life that you want for you, your family, for the people you love and go and live it. Successful people come from adversity or are able to rewrite your own story. You have to rewrite your own story. You are not defined by your past. You're defined by what you do next. Manifestation is a powerful thing, but manifestation is taken out of context. It's not, I just sit and I just manifest and I sit and I say, okay, wealth is coming to me. It's creating it mentally first, stepping out and acting it out, but then following it up with massive freaking action. We talk about four things, right? You have this level of belief. And when you believe in yourself, you start to take massive action. When you take massive action, you produce results. And when you produce results, it fuels your belief even more. It all starts with belief. So that could be like the manifestation part, but belief followed by action, produce results, which fuels more belief. But if you just believe and then don't actually go do anything about it, you're not going to create the results, right? So kind of my final tip here to wrapping up is highly successful people, self-made millionaires, they control their self talk. Life every day is a mirror. It's not a window. So that means what you see in your life is really a reflection of what you have, what you believe. If you walk around all day, guys, there's a difference between broke and poor. I don't know if you know this. I didn't know this for a long time. I've been broke, but I haven't been poor of mindset. You can be broke. You could right now not have a lot of money. Poor is a mindset. Poor is I'll never get out. Poor is I'll never change this. Poor is I have no way to control my future. I'm, I'm stuck here. It's like depression. They say depression is defined by no hope of a better future. That's like depressed. So you can be broke. You can be down. You can be freaking struggling. Your business cannot be doing well. But if you control your self-talk, if you convince yourself that you can correct this, you've got what it takes. I'm able to fix this. I can do like, you just have to repeat these things like a crazy person, right? I'd love to do it when I'm like on the treadmill or boxing. Like I got this, I can do this. I'll figure this out. I'm resourceful. You got to develop a mantra that works for you, but your self-talk predicts your reality. Life is a mirror. It's not a window. So if every day you're like, I'm just on my sales calls, I am just hearing the money objection. I'm hearing people say, I don't want to invest. I don't want to do this. I'm cheap. I'm cheap. What are you projecting out there to be cheap? That's why I say you will sell the way you buy. I had a client. She's like, I'm just so cheap. I'm like, dude, no wonder why you're struggling with it. And she's like, I'm struggling with my sales call. I'm like, you literally just are the reason why. Who wants to work with the person that says they're cheap? You're going to attract out there what you put out. So control your mindset. When I was broke, I saw success. When you're down and out, you need to see the next level of success. When you're struggling, you need to believe that you'll achieve it. When you are lacking, you need to see the resourcefulness. And it's a discipline. Your mind is a muscle. You have to train it over and over and over. Guys, these are just some things we're wrapping up here of how self-made millionaires think and how I want you to start to think to level up in your life, your business, your relationships, your career, wherever you're at, okay? So hey, call to action time. If this resonated with you, if you're gonna take action on one of these points here, what point resonated the most with you? Send me a DM on social media, Instagram, Facebook, email, whatever. Let me know what point resonated with you. Do the steps we talk about. Take one thing from today and go out and implement it. And I'm telling you, change the way you think, you'll change your life. Hey guys, thanks for watching or listening to this episode. So I have a 
couple quick things I want to remind you. Number one, if you enjoy the content, wherever you are, if you're on Spotify, Apple iTunes, if you're on YouTube watching this, be sure to hit the thumbs up, leave a review, drop a comment so we know, did you like it? Did you not like it? We're trying to make all this better for you. So we want to hear from you. If you're interested in learning more about what we're doing, I have three things for you. Number one, you can grab my book, The New Rules to Financial Freedom. It sells for 19 bucks on Amazon. It's literally how I went from working in a job to owning now 131 units of real estate by building my business first and then investing. You can get it for absolutely free in the link below. If you're more interested in the real estate investing side of it, I have a free masterclass that we charge $3,000 for as a live event. You can get that absolutely for free in the link below. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to help you grow and scale your business and then start to learn how to invest into real estate for the long-term financial freedom game, in this section here, there'll be a link for my coaching application. Fill that out. We can get on a call, see if you'd be a good fit. Or if you need anything at all, shoot me a direct message on Instagram, Facebook, or shoot me an email. Let me know what you need help with and I'm here to help. Thanks and we'll see you next time.